Welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning into your favorite show on television right now. We have a very special guest on the show, a very known Haitian comedian, always making everybody laugh around town. We have Gertie from Haitians Gone Wild, man. Thank awesome, you, man. thank you for coming on the show, yeah, man. man. I appreciate you for freeing up your schedule and finally making it on the set, man. So tell us, where'd you grow up, man? Where'd you? I grew up here in Orlando. Okay. I grew up here. Okay, so I always hear like when your videos and stuff, you have a Haitian accent, so I thought you were born in um, Haiti or raised in Haiti. That's crazy because everyone thinks that. Like right now, if most of my fans think I live in Haiti right now. Yeah. Honestly, I live right here in the United States, in Orlando. I'm not illegal or <laughs> immigrant. And yeah, congratulations. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if you would have told everybody on camera, but yeah. So um, how, but how'd you get um, you know influence to start doing comedy? Honestly, my family does it. You know, I have two uncles that kind of do comedy, but they never pursued it. You know, okay. they just, they did it for the family and did like little skits around, you know, like family gatherings or whatever. And okay. then, you know, they just never went out to do more. So, you know, me and my cousin, we thought like, hey, let's, let's try to do it, but maybe use social media and try to push what the family couldn't do. You know, that's how it, it kind of started. And, here we are five years later. Wow, so you've been doing comedy for five years, is that what it is? Yeah. Five okay. Years. So like is there any like besides your family, is there any like comedians in the uh, American or Haitian community that kinda influenced you in any way? Honestly, um, if you know Haitian V, but they call him just Vlad, um yeah. he kinda started the whole accent thing. Okay. You know, watching him and Haitian Jonas on YouTube, I'm like, yeah, these guys are funny. Mm -hmm. But I know I can do that too. I got you. You know, in my own way, but HMV kind of started the whole accent, the what's up then, and you know, just looking at him doing that, I was like, dang, I could do that too, you know, so that's how that all started with the accent. But every time I see you, you know, you're always hosting somewhere or doing a show somewhere, you know, but you seem very confident, so like, do you ever get nervous or have you ever got fooled, like, oh, he sucks, or what have you ever been Honestly, yeah. um, nervous, I don't get nervous. I just, I get nervous only like right, like, the whole time before the show, I won't get nervous. Like, Even at the show, I won't get nervous. It's like, right before I get on stage, my stomach just like, it yeah. I'm like, damn, man, what's about to happen? Like, because yeah, I never know what my crowd is going to be like until mm -hmm. I get on the stage and okay. I read and like, okay, this is what it is. And then you know what to say yeah. and what to hit them with. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about um, Haitian production. What was that? I mean, sorry, Haitian's gone wild. Haitian's gone wild production. Um, basically, it's more of a, we do everything, the production part, that's why, you know, it's at the end, but like, it's different, because right now, you know, we're rebranding, so it won't be Haitian Go On Production for long, you okay. know, it's going to be a new name and new everything, okay. but it just came around because, you know, I, I don't only do comedy, I do, I model, I, you know, I host, mm -hmm. I even, you know, do music, okay. whatever you kind of want me to do, I can, I can kind of work around it. I got you. So I'm like an all around entertainer. Okay, that makes sense. I got you. And one thing, because you know, I, fo I follow you guys on Instagram, and you, you upload content like every day. I don't know mm -hmm. if you sleep or anything, but um, <laughs> so like, how do you know, how do you create your content? How do you know what's going to be the next video that you want to do or this and that? Honestly, living in a Haitian house, it never stops. So there's never not a time where there's not content, you know. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I do I do look at American content mm -hmm. and I flip it and okay. make it our own way because okay. it's like you can see something in American way and then you just flip it to a Haitian way like dang this actually really happened to me I before, you. you know, but just in this scenario. Mm -hmm. So kinda I just use different scenarios and I just think of them and if I don't think of them, yeah. I just go to my mom and if you ever see my mom on my page, you know, that's raw natural. Haitian mother. That, I, I can't portray her. I tried at a point to do that, but I was like, I can't be my mom. Like, she's she's good by herself. <laughs> so let me capture her in her moments. Yeah. And, you know, that's because I see her in a lot of your videos. So uh, and I see her chasing you around with a belt. I see y'all yeah. play fighting or wrestling or whatever. But it's like I always wonder, like, is that is she part of the skit or like you said, just being Haitian? That's what that uh, natural <laughs> footage. Like we really be fighting. We don't be fighting, but you know, I gotta hold her down because I'll be playing with her, but she knows I'm playing and okay. I'm recording her. Okay. But she she's not playing. I'm playing, but she's not playing. So you know you. her and my brother and just uh, like our family is just yeah. funny naturally. Mm -hmm. So when I can catch her, I catch her. Like that's why you don't see her as you know, all the yeah. time. Okay. Like it's just when I catch her, I catch her. So right now I'm holding back on some videos, but you know. I got you. Um there was one video you had and you was making a video and she interrupted the video. You said, mommy, I'm, I'm making jokes. And, but my point, uh, does she support you still with your, um, does she take it serious as you take it? Like, do you get that inspiration from? 
Yeah, baby. I'm gonna eat you. Mommy, I'm making a video. <laughs> Mommy, you can't be interrupting me. I'm trying to be professional. Yeah, right. Mommy, you know I'm 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 a well-known comedian. Um, she doesn't believe that the comedy is like it's going to work, it's honestly, because be she knows the Haitian community. You know, she's trying to do business within it, so she feels like they won't support me. What, what I'm doing, you know, they're just gonna use me and my talents and yeah. that's what, you know, that's how she feels about the situation. Yeah. But, you know, she supports the dream and, you know, she tries to support me as much as she can. But that video, she... <sighs> I think we should go to the next question. <laughs> I got you. So, and you guys are growing fast because, you know, I, I follow you, like I said, I follow you guys on Instagram and your social media platform. I seem to go from a hundred followers to like, I guess you guys are what, 13,000 right now. So I know that takes a lot of work and dedication, you know what I'm saying? So, but where do you see it? Cause it all gets bigger. So where do you see it in five years? Where do you see Haitians um, going? Well, I know you said you're rebranding and stuff like that. In five years? Yeah. I mean, that's that's where, where you guys come in. It's yeah. where the people come in, you know, in five years, you take me to where I need to go. Exactly. Honestly, I can do everything I'm doing right now and then some and still not, and still be at 13K. Yeah. But it, it's up to the people that tell me, hey, you know, this guy is funny. Let's keep pushing him for him to be to that next level yeah. in five years. So five years is, is depending on the people where they want me to be. Because I, I know where I want to be, but it's yeah. up to y'all to push me, exactly. you know, to get me to that level so people can notice that, hey, there's more than just British people that's acting and yeah. more than African people that acting. There's people in Haiti that can act too. Exactly. And, you know, Mexico and all these other places, mm -hmm. you know, there's other people that can do that. So it's up to you guys to push me. And I know a lot of, not all of your content, but a lot of it is about the Haitian mm -hmm. culture, background, religion. Just, you mm -hmm. know, we make jokes off of that. But have you visited Haiti anytime um, recently? The or last anything? time uh, I visited Haiti, I think I was eight. So, I haven't been there recently, but I'm planning on it, so, you know, because, yeah, I need to perfect my career some more, you know, so I want to go and get some, some raw Haitian, Haitian, you know what I'm saying? I got you. So, that's, that's that with that right now. I got you. And like you said, you're, you're more than just a comedian, you know, saying you, you host events, you're an entertainer, um, so what are some, like, big stages you've been on where you was like, wow, I'm, I'm, this comedy stuff, I need to stick to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, believe it or not, it was August 12th, mm -hmm. I believe I performed with HAP, Haitian American Productions, wow. and, um, I opened up for them, mm -hmm. and it was sold out, I think it was almost over 400 people there, wow. and, um, I walked, like, you remember you asked me the previous question, like, was I nervous? That show, I wasn't nervous. Mm -hmm. I literally was like, Bruh, I got this. You like, give me the mic, yeah. you know? And we went out there, and when I, you know, the first word I said, everybody started laughing. I just, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, these people don't know me. And they're dying, and I have them dying. I have their full attention. Yeah. And it was like, if I can do this to 400, I know I can do it to more than 400, mm -hmm. I know. So that was probably the, the head turn that I should take this even more serious than I've been taking it. Exactly, I got you. So you're just going to stick to the goal and just keep pushing and I guess that's mm -hmm. what you're doing. So do you have any advice for like, you know, a young uh, comedian like yourself? Cause how old are you? I'm 20 now. 20, okay, wow. So you're young, you know what I'm saying? So do you have <laughs> do you have any advice for any young person out there that's not too much comedy, but just putting themselves in those in front of people and stop being scared? Is there any advice you need? First you? thing is to get over your fears, man. I faced all my fears. Mm -hmm. You know, in the beginning, so when I did get on stage, I you didn't see a fear because if you see that I'm scared, mm. so mm. You'll, t you'll run me. Okay. You know, but if I'm more confident in my work and what I'm doing, yeah. you'll see the confidence and the respect that you'll know, like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing, you yeah. know. And um, for a young person that's trying to get out there, just surround yourself with the right people, exactly. you know, because that's I had to learn that the hard way, you know, yeah. you have to surround yourself with the right people, the right team, and people that have the same goal and don't yeah. give up, you know, yeah. they have to. You have to be patient because it's not just gonna come. Yeah. So you know you gotta you gotta keep working and working and yeah. you know just because you think oh this may not be funny or this may not be good yeah. to other people it may be just the greatest work you ever did. <laughs> yeah. You know some of my content I put my heart into it and yeah. it's like dang flop <laughs> like it's not good. Yeah. And then the things I think is just oh whatever I'll just post to the post. Mm -hmm. It's gold. It's it's viral. Good. It's like wow. Like okay maybe I should stop thinking and just post. Yeah. You know. But just, you know, follow your dreams. Don't yeah. give up, I got honestly. You. And you always talk about your team. It seems like you got a big team because I had to talk to your manager and yeah, yeah, book you yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you, you're a big deal. So is there anybody you want to shout out that um, help you with behind the scenes and do what you do? 
She loves Henny. I love you, girl. Um, <laughs> Jaya, my manager. Um, so that's good that's good so we um we definitely appreciate you you know for coming on the show man we, we really think you're a big inspiration in the, the haitian community that's why we we asked you to come on the show and we know you're busy so we're not gonna stay too long and okay. and, and, and and but yeah um we have a, a board that we we make everybody sign because we feel like everybody's famous on the show you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying you guys are celebrities because you put your like you said you put your heart into it sometimes even me, I get the same thing. When I put a video out and they don't get the reaction you want, it can be a little discouraging. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? But you gotta keep doing it, and then I'm glad you, you keep doing what you're doing, man. So keep hustling, oh, man, and keep re representing the, for your people's man. And mm -hmm. we have a board that we make everyone sign, yeah. you know? I Yes, sir, yes, sir. That way, when we get in depth, we can cash out. You know? <laughs> but uh, you can sign it wherever you want. I yeah. think this is probably gonna be the last of this board then we're gonna to have to start a new board so um let's switch you which what color you want sir i'll let you choose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no more black man because we're gonna cool it out black mm -hmm. i got you all right so, oh i have to write on the board yes yeah, so sign okay. your name boom, boom, boom. make a smiley face exactly yeah. <laughs> i got you man but not nah, thank you for coming on the show man and you know giving the people a, a little piece more about you because you're not you know people probably always think you funny funny but you know, you're a businessman, mm -hmm. you out here doing your thing, you trying to um, reach the sky, man. So thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.